Bismillah. How do we help a Muslim who is depressed due to a loss of loved ones? Uh, he does not want to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also sh shuts off the people who advise him or something like that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum. Sila alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah alhamdulillah hamdan yuwafi ni'amahu yukafi'u mazidah wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. The topic of depression is a topic that does require attention from an Islamic perspective. Likewise, it also requires attention from a psychology perspective. And from an Islamic perspective, I'd like to say that I think the best cure for depression is the recognition of a person's inability to understand. And the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His knowledge is infinite. And the fact that the human mind and human capabilities remain finite no matter what we try, what we do. And I start off with this premise because oftentimes we try to understand everything in the world. And our attempt to try to understand everything in the world is what causes us to become depressed when we realize and come to the realization that it is not possible for us to understand everything in the world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is infinite. Allah's knowledge is infinite. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that which was. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that which will be. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that which is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that which wasn't and that which will not be if it were to be how it would have been. This is the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in this knowledge, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses for his slave a certain choice, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best that this choice was the best for the slave of mine. And for that reason, we have people that are rich, people that are poor. The poor ask, how do I become rich? The rich enjoys the richness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He teaches us in a hadith Qudsi, that from my slaves are those that are poor. If I were to give them wealth, then they would have, then I would have destroyed their religion for them. And from my slave are those that are the opposite. If I were to bring about poverty or wealth for them, depending on their scenario, then again, I would have corrupted their religion for them. All of this, why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His knowledge is infinite. He knows exactly what we are deserving of and what is best for us. Our loved one passes away. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that this was what was best for us. This was the moment where it was best for this individual to pass away. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us ease. Amen. And by the way, when I make this statement as a premise, we find that even in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses this as the premise to solve the problem of depression. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, مَا أَصَابَ مِن مُصِيبَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مِن قَبْلِ أَنَّ نَبْرَأَهَا That there is nothing, no harm, harm, no difficulty, no calamity that occurs within your life or within yourselves, in the earth or in yourselves, except that it has been written down in a book before we had even created this problem or calamity and so on and so forth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues. He tells us that the reason why I'm telling you this is what? The reason why I'm telling you of this is So that you don't end up becoming depressed. So when we come to a recognition that Allah's knowledge is infinite and no matter how much we try, our brains will remain confined to this particular area and our thought will remain confined to the finite world, we will come to a realization that Allah's thought, Allah's ideas and Allah's choices are beyond and this will help us decrease the athar or the, the effects of this depression. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uplift Difficulty from all of us. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite us all in with our loved ones in Jannah, inshallah. Ameen. An additional question. I'd just like to add also on a practical note because people ask me about depression all the time. And um, I see two main points that people who are depressed seem to all share. One is a sense of a loss of control 
of one's life, like you're spinning out of, your life is out of control. You, you can't stop things from happening. It's, things are just happening. You just, you, you're at a loss. And on the other hand, you, people tend to look at everything around them as bad. There's no good. When you're depressed, no matter what anybody does, there's this negative look. It's always bad, you know. You can't find any good around you. So, based on those two principles, I suggest to people, one, voluntary fast. Your voluntary fast, Monday, Thursdays, three days of the full moon, Fasting gives you a sense of control because you are the one who decides to do that suhoor, abstain from the food, break the fast at that time. It helps to give you a sense of control back in your life. That was one suggestion. The other, in terms of everything being bad, sujood as shukr. This is something so many Muslims don't even know about sujood as shukr that Prophet Muhammad whenever something good happened, he would drop down on his face in prostration. You don't have to have wudu. You don't have to be facing the qibla. You just you, even women not even wearing hijab. It's not a requirement. You just make that sujood. So I advise people who can't see any good in their life Make that sujood. Go into sujood and reflect. Because for sure, something good has happened. If it's not today, it happened yesterday or the day before, go and reflect on those good things that exist in your life. And the more you reflect, the more you will see. So this is a critical principle uh, of, for gratitude, which can change your state of depression. Since so much stress has been placed on gratitude in, the, in Islam, in the Quran, the very Fatiha that we recite every day, 17 times a day, begins with Alhamdulillah. Gratitude. Uh, there is also a, a beautiful dua the Prophet Sallallahu had taught us. Uh, and he ordered all his companions, anyone who heard it must learn it, meaning must memorize it and apply it in his life. And it begins by an acknowledgement, Allahumma inni abduk, oh Allah, I am your slave, the son of your male slave, the son of your female slaves, my destiny is in your hand, uh, my, my, your judgment upon me is judged. And after all, after all this introduction, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the Quran the spring of his life and the... Uh, uh, the repeller of his sadness and, and grief and depression. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, unite us with our loved ones in Jannatul Firdaus. Ameen. Donate now. The dailyreminder.org slash donate.